Tanda, yeah. what has one head, one foot, and four legs? I don't know. What? A bed. Oh, okay, I get it. Good morning, Dad Max. I'm Andrea Rodriguez. And I'm Adelio Orton. And this is Dad Back News. Congratulations to the 7th and 8th grade Boys and Girls Track Meet. Here's Diego with more. This is Sports with Diego Ortiz. Good morning, Mikey. Good morning, Diego. How do you think you did this district track meet? Honestly, I think I did very good, but I didn't place in my events, but I was proud to say that I was part of the district team this year. How excited are you when we, took, when we took all four trophies? I can say I was so excited I jumped to Chapa's arms. And this is sports with your Hey, have you seen that Batman team that Ms. Garcia made? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, now let's go check out more. Now here's Nicole with what's up. Alright, my name is Miss Gamble and I am the team captain for this year's Sherryland North team called Team Save a Life. Who is the Team Save a Life? Team Save a Life is made up of all of our teachers here from North. Um, we are registered to walk for 12 hours on April 5th at Tom Landry Stadium in honor of cancer survivors, cancer fighters, and people that had lost their battle to cancer. How much money was raised in the auction? The first auction we raised about $500. The second one we raised about $540. Every single penny is going to the American Cancer Society. We are still raising money for the peeps in the jar and we'll hear the winner on Monday at the pep rally. And all the money right now that we've collected has come to about over $3,000 in total. So we are doing really, really good. It's for a really, really good cause and I'm I'm so proud of Sherryland North and the amount of money that we've raised. Wow, those cakes look delicious. This was it for What's Up with Your Now no, back to you guys in the studio. Hey, really, guess who's Mike Day's interview? I don't know who. Mr. Brenner. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's go check it out. Now here's Mike Day with the teacher. Hi guys, I'm Mike Day, and this week for the teacher, we're going to with Mr. Brenner, film production, theater, and speech teacher. Hello students, I am Charlie Brenner, your theater, speech, and film production teacher. I grew up in the Hill Country, a little town called Blanco, Texas, uh, where I graduated and then went on to college at Howard Payne University. Uh, then I switched to uh, Blinn College and then I went to Texas A&M University and then I finished off at UTPA down here in the valley after I followed my wife down here. We weren't married yet, but I followed her and then we got married. And so I got my undergraduate in theater and film at UTPA, and then I went on to get my master's from UTPA in theater production. So that's my college. What encouraged you to become a film, theater, and speech teacher? When I was in sixth grade, uh, after, during lunch, you know, everybody got to go outside and play. I actually would go into my reading teacher's class, and uh, she would let me play Take Horse. And then one day she's like, well, hey, why don't you just try out for the play? You're here, in here anyways. So I got into the play and then fell into it. I love with theaters from that point on, so I've been kind of doing it ever since. Have you been involved in any productions outside of school? And if yes, which ones and how many? Uh, I've been involved in probably about 30 theater projects outside of school, uh, an additional 25 films. Uh, you can uh, actually buy a couple of them at Walmart, which is pretty fun. So yes, I've been involved in a lot. Well, thank you for your time, Sabrina. Well, thank you very much. Well, I hope Mr. Brenner has enjoyed his having us for his students this year. I'm Mike Salinas, and this will make the teacher. See you guys next time. Hey, it, it's too windy. Well, let's go see Patrick with the weather. Hey, this is Patrick with the weather, and I wish I had a kite. It's so windy outside. Back to you guys at the studio. What are those corners with Jay doing there? Oh, they're Jacobs. Now here's random facts with Jacob. Random facts with Jacob. In Hawaii, it's illegal to place coins in one's ear. Is that illegal? No, only in Hawaii. Oh. And this and was Random Facts with Jacob. with Jacob. 
thanks, Jacob. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. Well, that's all for today. I'm Andrea Rodriguez. And I'm Anelio. And this is Dimebag News. Until next time, be happy.